go ahead and start my build on my buggy. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break it up into two different phases. First phase is gonna be primarily protection. I wanna protect the buggy, and I'm gonna do the things that I need to do to protect the buggy. So there's what this looks like now, and uh, we'll see what it looks like when I get done with phase one. I'll probably make some separate videos on some installs. If I find some of this stuff, probably needs a little bit more of a walkthrough. But for the most part, I don't plan on doing that. I just plan on showing you guys before and after. And then the second phase is going to be accessories that I want, not that I necessarily need. So with that being said, here's what we're going to do. And stay tuned and check it out. So first up, we got the... Uh, Rock sliders. These are OEM rock sliders that you would get normally on the XRC. Maybe yeah, out here. You can get normally on the XRC. Um, one of the reasons I wanted the XRC was because you get the winch, rock sliders, and stuff like that. Well, I didn't want to change out the tires because I hate the Liberties. These at least come with the big, uh, the Maxxis uh, carnivores. So that's why I went with these. Plus, it's cheaper. Plus it already comes with the tires I like. So there's good and bad about it, but I did want to do the rock sliders. So after doing a bunch of research, finding a bunch of different options, we're rolling with the OEM ones. So here we go. We're gonna unbox it, throw them on here. Stay tuned. All right guys, so you see the notches? One, two, three, four. This goes towards the passenger rear. The one with three goes towards the passenger front. And then over on the driver's side, the one with one goes towards the driver rear, and the one with two goes towards the driver front. Tabs down, go ahead. What I, what I like to do is I use a zip tie to hold them in, make it easier. And there's that. Maze is in the maze is in the garage. And then now all you gotta do is take your rivet gun, load it in. But it's easy to just go ahead and pop them both in real quick. That way you ain't gotta worry about having them not lined up. And then go to work with the rivet. And that's that and then do the same thing on the front then I'll skip to the next step all right so got the two rivets in the back got them all ready to rock and roll got the two rivets in the front got them all ready to rock and roll now you got to drill the hole for the third rivet and it's easiest to do this before you do anything else so let's just go ahead and get this out of the way the instructions call for I think let me double check on the BRP's website here we go Instructions say a 13 64 inch hole and just put it right where it's the, the third hole is there's the instructions if you guys want to download them there I mean it's it's fairly simple but after doing the driver's side I'm glad people make videos on how to do stuff so stay tuned we'll draw these out And then there that was. Wasn't too bad. Wasn't the easiest thing that you can do, but wasn't the hardest either. So go ahead. Wipe down everything. You should probably wear safety glasses while doing this, but I'm a highly trained professional. Said everybody who goes to the ER. Slide your pop rivet in. Showing you guys what's going on. I like even firm pressure on the front side. Give me a good push. Another good one. Another good one. And there it is. There's that. See you guys what it looks like. One, two, three. 
ain't going nowhere. And do the same thing on the front side, to the third hole in the front side, and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, so next, you get the, get the brackets mounted. Go ahead, tap your, uh, what I did was I went ahead and tapped all my, all my carriage bolts through for the most part, to where it makes it easier to thread on. Now, there's a rivet that's gonna go right in this hole right here. And there's already a pre-drilled hole up on your A-arm. I made a mistake earlier on the driver's side and I put that rivet through all, before I got the bolts lined up and it added 45 minutes to the driver's side install. I'm not making that mistake this time. We're gonna lightly thread all four on and then I'll find a way to get that rivet through. So here we go. All right, they're kind of lined up. So what I'm gonna do now is take the four lock bolts or lock nuts Get three, three or so threads e on each one just to hold them, snug them up there. There we go. Two more. Yeah, I messed up on the other one, man. It, it just, I overthought it. Oh, I did. And it took a lot longer to do it the hard way. Sometimes, like on this one right here, I'm gonna have to try and angle it a little bit. Maybe even, that's why I got the hammer out too. Maybe even tap it so I got some threads showing. There we go. All right, got them all lined up. Now the hard part. Keep the rivet going right there. Trying to find a spot for this rivet. So there's what it looks like on top. One, two, three, four bolts. Now on the bottom down here, you got, you got the rivet right there, okay? I'm just gonna leave you guys right here with me. And I'm gonna grab my phone or flashlight, whatever you got. My phone's right here, so. Like everybody else, phone's right beside you. All right, so what you do now underneath is after fishing it through a little bit, finding out the perfect spot for it. That's that. Now all you gotta do to go. Get the drill out of the way. Alright. So all you gotta do now is tighten up these four bolts and nuts. And that's all she wrote. I'm gonna throw the uh, I'm gonna throw the uh, little impact driver to it. stuff out of the way, throw a little impact driver to it, just where it's less ratchet for me, because I'm tired. And once you get, once you get them snugged up, keep pressure on the carriage bolt to where it don't start wallowing out the plastic.
that's pretty much it. Got them all tight now. Got this back one on, front one. Oh, no, the front one needs tight. Get the front one tight real quick. Front one could be a little bit of pain. The front one. Furthest one out could be a little bit of pain. So I'm going to use the ratchet. As you guys can see on the bottom right there, it's kind of poking through a little bit. And it's turning now. So what I do is I'll tap it with a hammer. And now that it's lined up with the plastic and the square in the plastic, I'll keep pressure on it with the hand. Sometimes you gotta tap it through a couple times. And there it is. So, got them all tight. They're good. There's what they look like finished, both sides. That back, check them both out. They look pretty good. Got a nice little candy and etched in there, which will probably right there. That not on my face, but right there, which will probably end up looking like crap after a couple rides. But you want to keep the A arms protected. You want to keep you know from getting banged around and getting hung up on stuff because it being an open design, they can get hung up. So hopefully this kind of keeps that keeps that down a little bit. And if you sacrifice a little bit of plastic, it is what it is. Better than metal. So. Uh, Got them both done, rivet, rivet, four bolts, four bolts, six rivets, six rivets, yeah. So got it all done. I'll make a separate video for the trailing arms when I get that done. Go on, check it out. If you got any questions, I kind of like how that, not, not to jump around, but I like how that kind of protects your outer axle boot a little bit too. So that's kind of nice. But like I said, if you guys got any questions, leave them in the comment section. I'll, I'll get back to you guys when I can. Um, I think that pretty much wraps up this one. Thanks for watching. See you guys on the next one.